Welcome everybody to Jeff's 180. And in this 180 seconds, I wanted to talk to you guys about an article that ran in the Richmond Register. And it talked about um, people disposing of furniture on the sides of the street and what to do if those items have bed bugs. And it was mostly city officials that were addressing what to do with these pieces of furniture. And it's not the actual article that I want to talk about, but more of a sentiment that comes across in the article. And a person was quoted in here, and I don't want to single out that person because it's not just this person who says this. There's a lot of other people that feel this way. And it's a city official that says they will not expose their people to bed bug infested furniture. And so we have to figure out something to do about this. And to quote them exactly, it's, I have not and do not intend to send anyone down there to pick it up when it has bed bugs. And those are the types of, of, of responses to bed bugs. And again, this person isn't the only one that feels like that that kind of we have to put a stop to because you know the bottom line is bed bugs are back they're here to stay and to just say we're not going to address a topic or a piece of furniture or whatever it is because it has bed bugs because of that hysteria and discomfort that comes along with it is just not an acceptable approach anymore you know these bugs are back and we need to figure out how to tackle these things in a calm and you know efficient fashion taking this furniture, wrapping it in tarping before you load it on a truck to be taken away. Or create a city ordinance that, you know, requires people to dispose of furniture already wrapped in tarp and possibly hand out tags. Combine those ordinances with a citywide educational program that talks to people about how bed bugs get from one location to another and that way people can understand to avoid taking things off the side of the street and that might have bed bugs on it. Because that's what this all comes back to, is people spreading bed bugs. And so city officials are like, well, they're disposing of these items, but I don't want to go pick them up because they have bed bugs, and I don't want my workers to get bed bugs. Okay, well, let's figure out a reasonable approach. Let's wrap or require people to wrap those items. Let's tag those items. That way, when the people are disposing of them, they don't have to be as concerned. Those people that are picking the furniture up and putting it in the truck could possibly also wear Tyvek suits or protective suits to guard against bed bugs. And then let's educate the community so people avoid picking this furniture up in the first place. Now, that's a reasonable approach. You know, I, I just hate to see these people who are like, well, I, I'm not dealing with this. this is, you know, when I go to movie theaters, I shouldn't have to be worried about bed bugs. I hate to break the news, but bed bugs are here, and, and you know, anywhere people go, these bugs could go as well. And so we need to take reasonable approaches to this, and we need to get accustomed to the thought that bed bugs are out there, and we just need to be educated on bed bugs and how to avoid bringing them home. And that, everybody, is Jeff's thoughts in 180.